In this week's episode of Customs Duty, International Monetary Fund IMF pledges to support the Nigeria Customs Service in capacity building and other areas. It's an important task that you all contribute to raise, mobilize more revenues. This uh, is an important uh, uh, undertaking to achieve macroeconomic stability uh, and to be able to uh, facilitate the provision of of, of public goods and services. And NYC and the Nigeria Customs Services Strengthening Collaboration. Stabilization is so please now let's let's talk for whatever is in uh, the uh, uh, so we This IMF delegation is led by Mr. Are Ayerson, the resident representative for the IMF in Nigeria. The delegation is at the headquarters of the Nigeria Customs Service on a working visit, which Mr. Ayerson says is going to be of enormous benefit not only to Nigeria Customs Service, but to Nigeria, which is service serves. The day is about capacity building and how we can support uh, customs. Uh, and also FIRS and the Ministry of Finance. It's an important task that you all contribute to raise, mobilize more revenues. This uh, is an important uh, uh, undertaking to achieve macroeconomic stability uh, and to be able to uh, facilitate the provision of, of, of public goods and services that are so needed, particularly in the social area but also infrastructure. So revenue is a top priority, and we see this as a strategic existential policy priority, in fact, for Nigeria, as I have communicated in many opportunities, in outreach, events. Uh, and it's, it's a great pleasure that we have, uh, in the IMF, decided, uh, uh, following a request by the Minister of Finance, to Capacity building is taken very seriously in, in the IMF. It's one of our pillars of engagement with member countries. So this is a special uh, thing that we've done for Nigeria because we recognize in the request of Nigeria that we put together this program and it was a, a great opportunity for us to be able to contribute in a stronger, if you wish, way, hopefully, very effective in the presence of Berlin. Other members of the delegation also corroborate the position of Mr. Essen on the readiness of IMF to assist Nigeria in his readiness to collaborate with all the partners of Nigeria Customs Service. While acknowledging the commitment of IMF to the progress of Nigeria Customs Service with regards to capacity building, revenue generation, and other vital areas to the service, the Comptroller General of Customs, Colonel Hamid Ali, retired sees this renewed commitment as coming at the right time, especially considering the fact that the service is expected to generate revenue higher than its previous targets this year. Any input coming from anywhere that will assist the Nigerian Customs Service to be able to improve on its own me me mechanism of, uh, of generating revenue is welcome. And therefore, I want to take this opportunity to assure you that we will receive you uh, with all responsibilities and ensure that we work with you uh, to ensure that we improved on what we are doing. We are hopeful that we will generate uh, what the federal government desires from us, but uh, your input will go a long way in assisting us to, to, uh, to uh, realize that dream which we are working very hard on it. I'm also very happy to hear that uh, there's generosity in the offer of capacity building. That is an area we need an input. We're working presently with uh, the World Bank on the AMO program, I'm sure you're aware. 
uh, which will uh, translate very soon to improving on our fast tracking uh, pro uh, uh, process of import export and uh, that uh, we hope will also gradually move into authorized uh, economic uh, uh, AEO program for the WCO that is all related to trade facilitation. It is, in, it is a bit to ensure that we improve on our trade facilitation mechanism, that which is an avenue for increase in revenue generation also. So we will look, we will look forward to what you can do also to assist in those areas. Contributions from other members of Nigeria Customs Management confirmed that the service has made request for IMF's assistance in the area of capacity building, the ability to track excise and complete automation of excise procedures, among others. The service also sees its trade modernization project as key to the expected boost in revenue generation by it, since service provision will be paperless and devoid of human interference. <laughs> In yet another display of readiness to embrace meaningful collaboration, the Comptroller General of Nigeria Customs Service, Colonel Hamid Ibrahim Ali Ritad, has received the Director General of National Youth Service Corps, NYSE, Brigadier General Muhammad's father, at the Customs Headquarters in Abuja. In his submission, the DG discloses that he has visited the service to further cement the existing cordial relationship between NYSE and the Nigeria Customs Service, while also proposing that it is taken to another level. NYSC is the cream of where we get Nigerian youth gathered at one point for national development. I am pleading that if during our orientation exercise that in various command they will send some of your men to come and enlighten, sensitize and then educate our youth about the negative impact of smuggling to Nigerian economy, it will go a long way. There is a saying that catch them young. If, some, if, if we install that uh, awareness that smuggling is negative to our economy at where they are now, some of them will find themselves in custom and different endeavors. They will not compromise because they know that it's even if you get it just for your personal sake and a nation is bigger than personal interest, they will not compromise. Sir. He uses the medium to commend the Nigeria Customs Service for its success in revenue generation for the federal government, just as he also solicits support of the service for the upgrading of facilities at the NYSC FCT orientation camp in Kubwa, Abuja. Responding, the Comptroller General of Customs applauds the suggestion of the DG NYSE regarding sensitization of youth core members at the orientation camp, commends the efforts of NYC at grooming graduate youths of the country into leadership positions and for striving to make them acquire skills that will make them self-employed. He assures of the Nigeria Customs Services readiness to assist the NYC within its capability. He again commends the good conduct of the core members serving at the NCS headquarters, describing it as worthy of emulation. The transition is uh, so please now let's let's open for whatever reason been uh, put aside. Let's do it up and then uh, get your PRS in all the states to now uh, develop a short program. Yes, the program of the what and what subject they need to cover so that when they are doing their, their, their orientation, these PROs in the state will now key into it. And uh, what we request from you is to tell the directors at the state to make a space for us within yes. their own yes. uh, yes. orientation yes. program. Yes. That, that will surely be, be, yes. be willing to, to, to participate. And, uh, it's, it's even to our advantage yes, yes, because if we are able to sustain them and get them to understand what custom does and why we're doing what we're doing yes. and uh, the, the, the negativity of some of these things that we, we are fighting against, I'm sure they will also be our voice out there because mm -hmm. so they'll find themselves in, in the midst of people and they'll be in a better position to explain 
certain things. So it is to our advantage. We have been benefiting from the new paper that has been signed up to the city. There was the good behavior. We never had any incident of this thing. So it is not an issue. So we thank you for molding these young people to become our future leaders. We're working with them. In our little quarter, we also contribute to make sure that uh, they learn a little bit of uh, the ropes. Colonel Hamid Ali has shows the National Youth Service Corps Resolve of the Nigeria Customs Service to continue to collaborate with it for the betterment of the nation. Bruh, your car looks so nice. Thank you, thank you. I just imported this vehicle and got it cleared from our port in good time. Really? I heard it is so difficult to clear vehicles at the ports these days. No, that's not true, my dear. In fact, let me tell you something. You see, with the introduction of vehicle identification number valuation, the process and procedure for clearing vehicles have been made seamless and everything is now automated. No YO, no Gragra. Interesting. Yes, so using the 17-digit VIN, the make, model, and other important information about the vehicle appears. It also automatically calculates annual depreciation of 10% for used vehicles and help to curb false declaration in order to evade the payment of appropriate duties. So you mean this VIN valuation will erase human interference when clearing cars at the port? Imagine how stakeholders will benefit from this protocol. VIN valuation is indeed the way forward. <laughs> this, this message is from the Public Relations Unit of the Nigeria Customs Service. The Nigeria Customs Service takes the health and well-being of its personnel very important. Thus, gives it the attention it desires. It therefore brings healthcare services to the doorsteps of officers as demonstrated in the eye screening we just held at the services headquarters. A, X, B, O, T, M, A, A, one of the beneficiaries of the exercise comments. This is part of the services welfare package for me. This is actually timely because um, being an officer of um, Tariff and Trade Department, part to be precise, there is no day I don't work on the system and it has an impact on the eyes. So this is actually a timely initiative as it will help us know the status of our eyes. Indeed, enhancement of personnel's welfare will impact positively on their productivity and by implication improved performance by the service. The exercise is carried out in partnership with Tulsi Chanrai Foundation Eye Hospital. This luxury bus laden with 44 bales of used clothing and 16 sacks of fairly used foreign shoes has been intercepted by operatives of Joint Patriot Team Sector 3 along Abuja Lokoja Expressway owing to effective use of credible information. This is just one of the 107 interceptions made by the team in the first half of 2022. Other anti-smuggling successes of the team include interception of a trailer laden with 550 bucks of 50 kilograms foreign purple dries along Mokwa Jeva Road, which are among the 1,031 bucks of 50 kg purple dries intercepted by the team within the period under review. Success units of used vehicles, 3,068 by 25 liters kegs of female motor spirit PMS, 91 bales of used clothing, 19 sacks of used shoes, 11 kegs of vegetable oil, 39 cartons of foreign tomato paste, and 5 units of motorcycles, among others. The duty paid value of the intercepted items within the period under review is 139,707,500 naira. While Comptroller Olubuega Peters laments how lack of patriotism by Nigerians could lead them to attempt to smuggle petroleum products out of the country as well as perpetrate smuggling of order on customs goods, he reminds that the law has adequately empowered customs to carry out its mandate. The Nigeria Customs Service is being guided by 
Custom and Excise Management Act, CAP C45, Law of Federation of Nigeria 2004, as amended, which empowers officers, for example, Section 8. Customers have power of police officers, Section 46, power of forfeiture of goods improperly imported, Section 149. Power to search vehicles and ship. Section 150, power to search persons. Section 158, power to patrol freely. And Section 167, provisions as to detention, seizure, and condemnation of goods. The team's coordinator reveals that interceptions by Sector 3 at this period is not limited to those of goods attempted to be smuggled in and out of the country. Three illegal immigrants, teenagers between 16 to 18 years of age, were arrested around Babana Axis of the sector, coming from Bini, Edo State, en route Burkina Faso. After thorough investigation, it was discovered that the teenagers were being trafficked by a syndicate to be Burkina Faso. The teenagers were handed over to immigration service as one of the agencies in the, in the sector, saddled with, with such responsibility to carry on with the investigation. He admonishes deviants to be on the part of the law and live peacefully. We therefore use this opportunity to warn those with evil activities or intention and those using official or commercial vehicle to smuggle goods into the country to stay clear of this North Central, as there shall be no safe highway for them. As he takes members of the media around some of the intercepted items, he uses the medium to acknowledge the support of the Comptroller General of Customs, Office of the National Security Advisor, the Nigerian Army, Police, Immigration, DSAs and other security and intelligence agencies for contributing to the success of the team in various ways. Good morning. So sorry, I didn't notice you coming. Obviously, you look worried. Please yeah. have a seat, have a seat. What's the problem? Uh, well, I've been thinking about how to become a successful importer. Perhaps you should say I came in at the right time. I just got my goods cleared. The process was seamless. Oh, wow. Yes, I'll let you know how it goes. Well, intending importers should first find out goods classified as prohibition for import and export and other regulations. You can check by visiting www.customs.gov.ng. Oh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's good to hear. Then you can proceed to contact your overseas supplier, contact your authorized dealer bank for Inform M, complete the Inform M and attach import documents, receive pre-arrival assessment report, PAR, make declaration at the comfort of your home or office, make assessment and pay duty. Once payment is received, the system will automatically trigger selectivity and tell you how your consignment will be examined. As long as your declaration matches with the cargo examination report, the goods are automatically released. Seamless imports are wave compliance traders. Be part of this. This message is from the Public Relations Unit of the Nigeria Customs Service. Ogun One Command of Nigeria Customs Service has recorded significant improvement in his performance at half year 2022 when compared with his performance in the preceding year, as has been disclosed by Comptroller Bamidele Makinde while giving the scorecard of his command recently. We take his disclosure of the command's revenue collection within the period under review. During the period under review, the command generated a total sum of 29 million 940,146 naira and 50 kobo from import duties and auction sales of premium motor spirits seized from small place. The revenue generated from January to June last year was 15 million 261,074 naira only, compared to this year's revenue of 29 million 940,146 naira 50 copper only. He also reveals that anti-smuggling efforts by operatives of the command have yielded successes in no small measure. Items intercepted between January and end of June 2022 include 25,000 
906 bags of foreign parboiled rice of 50 kg each, which is an equivalent of 43 trailer loads, 433 cartons of frozen poultry products, 72 units of foreign used vehicles, and means of conveyance, including Macapola bus, LC drugs comprising 1,400 packets, 2,250 sachets of Thramadol, and 168 packets of codeine, 258 sacks and 661 wraps of cannabis sativa and 289 cartons of foreign tomato paste. Others are 140 pieces of foreign used tires, 11,645 kegs of 25 liters premium motor speed PMS, an equivalent of about 9 tanker loads, 34 bills, 113 sacks of used clothing, 64 sacks, and 2,218 pairs of used footwears, as well as 328 cartons, 320 sacks, and 72 pairs of new footwears. Also intercepted are 180 pieces of female handbags, 375 bales, 925 pieces of textile materials, 900 pieces of machetes, and 20 units of motorcycles used as means of conveyance among others. The customs area controller gives a comparison of the commons performance in this regard with what obtained the previous year in terms of duty paid value. The estimated duty paid value of items since this year, which is 3.4 billion, is higher than that of last year record, which was 834 million. That is about 400 percent increase. Controller Mark India attributes the success recorded by his command to a number of factors which he now discloses. The command was able to achieve this due to the following steps. Continuous stakeholders engagement and management. Deployment of intelligence in all operations across the state. Structural reorganization of the command. Improved motivation of officers by the Nigerian Customs Service Management as prepared by the operational vehicles allocated to the command recently and the provision of accommodation in various stations within the command. Lastly, improved discipline and total dedication to duty by officers of the command. The Customs Area Controller has again promised that his command will continue to dialogue, engage, synthesize and educate the public on social and economic implications of smuggling as it performs its statutory function of enforcing compliance in line with government's fiscal policies. Despite having only three sources of revenue generation as at half year 2022, the SCT Area Command of Nigeria Customs Service has achieved a huge success in his all round performance. The Customs Area Controller of the command has disclosed that his command has surpassed his previous revenue generation records. To measure our performance, we have to compare the performance of last year and the performance of this year. What I mean is January to June last year and January to June this year. January to June last year, the command had 1,731,602,281 naira 28 kobo. That's January to June 2021. But January to June 2022, we have 1,742,948,000 959 Naira 67 Kobo. There's an increment of 11,346,678 Naira 39 Kobo above the last year. Comptroller Suleiman Bomoyi reveals what are instrumental to this success as he makes projection into the command's anticipated revenue performance in the second half of 2022. The, the, the attitude of the officers have changed. We try to block all the loafers, try to make the agents to perpetrate all the imperpetrated airways. And that's one of the strategy. And the last, part, last half of this year, I want to assure you that the revenue will go up because, one, the government policy on carbonated drinks and beverages mm. to pay excise duties. FCT Coban were able to have two factories, two major factories for now. We are still pushing orders to cope. Anti-smuggling operation by the FCT Area Command, Controller Bomboy reveals 
has led to interception of drones suspected to be illegally imported and have been handed over to the Office of the National Security Advisor, as well as the interception of a substance weighing 11.793 kilograms, and handed over to NDLA, which later confirmed the substance to be cocaine after proper laboratory tests. The customs air controller warned smugglers and would be smugglers does. Namdi Aziko International Airport, we have zero tolerance of smuggling. Anything smuggling. If I say anything smuggling, even on the declaration, first declaration is still smuggling. We have zero tolerance on it. Please, they should try any other place, not Namdi Aziko. Our eyes are open. No matter what, no matter where you hide. By the grace of God, we are ahead of you. We always sleep and wake up ahead of the smugglers. He says bridging the gap between his command and stakeholders through regular meetings and complementing the commendable numerous capacity building trainings being offered by the customs management at various levels within in-house training has continued to upscale the performance officers of the command in addition to increasing their positive disposition on service delivery.